Welcome to this video on how to create a circle I'm just worktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a worktop that it's a round circle coming out here and ending up here. It's going to be 600 radius coming out and going in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to get into our plan view. You right click, you go plan, and from this, this position you need to go and edit worktop. So you go call and you go to edit worktop or control J. Press close. Now from here we need to create a, a new worktop. So you click on the, the freehand worktop tool which is this one. Now there's a, there's a few ways that you can do this. Um, you can either do what you, you did in the S type where you, you cut the, the worktop into sections and then you can run different edges but in this one I'm going to create a new one and and circle it and make a circle of it so you click on the new one you change the catalog from advanced graphics to fusion QM or the catalog that you're working with at the moment you'll notice it's got different worktops here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a square that is a radius of 600 so or it's going to be one meter two. So I'm going to go out one two. You'll notice on the left hand side of the length, I'm typing it in, pressing enter, dragging my mouse down. Then on, I'm not touching the the mouse at the moment. Now I'm just going to go one two and go enter one two. Enter. What I'm what I'm doing is I'm making a square, and then I'm going to round the square and also cut out certain sections so it can be placed on the edge of that uh, of this unit. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to round these corners. So click on the, the curve that goes inwards and here I'm going to go click once, drag it inwards. You'll notice the sizes on the X offset and Y offsets on, on the left. I'm going to make that 600 and then tab down, go 600, enter. Do it to the next next one. 600, 600, and press enter. I'm going to go to the, the next corner, which is this one, and curve it inwards. Make it 600 by 600 again, and press enter. Now there's, there's our, our section. Now we're wanting to cut out this, this section, so I'll go to the L, L section, and I would click here, drag it inwards and go 600, tab it down, 600, enter. And there it is. There's our, our piece that we've we've got and now I, I can just move it into position and, and that's it. So I just, on the left hand side, click OK a couple of times to get out of this, this section. And OK again. Okay, here's our, our, our worktop that we've done. So I'm just going to unhighlight it, highlight just the section that I'm wanting to move, and here I can drag it into the position that I, uh, I'm wanting over here, and then go use the hand icon and go left, and let's move it by, say, 600. Press OK. and let's move it into position up, enter, enter, move it up again, let's move it say 50, Ten. I'm just moving it into position using the arrow keys and let's go left 50 and enter there we go there's my my worktop that I've I've just created and now I can go and have a look at this and see what what it has has done for me so if I go to right click and go perspective 
we will see as it renders my round worktop that I've put in there. Okay, there we go. That's our, our round circle. We've done our, our breakfast bar that's coming off it with the a round section. And it looks it looks great. And that's how, how easy it is to, to do your round worktops using your freehand tool. Thank you so much for, for listening to this video.